it is Raven with Valhalla Gaming, and we are here once again with Planet Zoo. The game is fully released now, and we are going to be doing the second, um, I don't know, task, mission, career mode campaign. Welcome to Madagascar. It's quite the change of scenery from dreary old England, huh? <laughs> Apart from the weather, I suppose. They don't call these places rainforest for nothing. <laughs> The zoo we'll be working in is an ape sanctuary, where we're doing vitally important conservation work. Not just for apes, but for all kinds of species. But apes, well, apes are some of the closest relatives to humans there I'm are. I'm not a very and big yet, fan of monkeys. The the world treats them as I like, feel like a lot of people will probably like, like hate me for saying that, but they're just that I, I don't love them. Anyway, I don't hate them, I just don't, I don't love them. That our operation here I like lemurs. If we can all leave some part of the world in a but yeah, like state apes, we like it, we'll have lived orangutans, and speaking bonobos, of states, I have a feeling I chimpanzees, the house in a right one. <laughs> when I get anything back, that's like extremely like, I don't know, hum humanoid <laughs> looking, just I don't like them very much. What do you think of Madagascar? Anyway, <laughs> for my taste, to be honest. Anyway, this is Bernie's primate sanctuary. It's not just primates, though. We've got all sorts, all of, animals. sorts of animals. So why don't we go and have a look at some of them, eh? Eh? We'll start by taking a look at the red ruffed lemurs. I like lemurs. They're the ones that look like they should be in a Shakespeare play. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's head over to them. Okay, how do I... Excuse me, can I please get out of this? Why you not let me move? Let me move. There we go. Okay. So, I've messed around with this game Red just a tiny bit. Are found in the Look at these, they're just so cute. Madagascar. They can actually live anywhere from 15 no. to 25 years. Fancy that, eh? Oh. Okay, oh. when you're ready, oh. let's go find our Bornean orangutan. He's running! He's glitching through, like, everything! Oh my god! <laughs> wow. That was quite glitchy. Look at that tail! Wow, that walk is so sassy. Oh my gosh. I love it. Okay. <laughs> Let's continue what we're supposed to be doing. Where are we going? Okay, over here. Orangutans. The Bornean orangutan is such a marvelous creature. They're always a big favorite at any yep. zoo they feature in. And they're also the biggest tree-dwelling animal on the planet. Wow. <laughs> Assuming you don't count any lions that got stuck up. Well. A regal. Oh, why don't you take a better look at them? Open up yep, your that is what I'm doing. Go into the animal camera. This is definitely like more of a uh, tutorial. Aren't they just incredible? Oh, that's not very cinematic. When ready, <laughs> let's go and have a look see at some of our beautiful bonobos. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bonobos! Beautiful. I strongly oh, disagree. Dear. It looks like we've arrived just in time. One of the habitat's barriers has collapsed. Oh dear. And wouldn't you know it, one of the bonobos has made a run for it. Oh, we'll need to catch we them. We got a runner. But before we do, we should box up the Where'd other bonobos go? to stop them escaping too. Okay. Select the habitat. Habitat. To bring up the habitat Animals. Panel. Box all. No escaping for no. you. We'll need a vet to recapture that escaped bonobo. But it seems our last one left. Okay, so we don't have a vet. Wild. That's not good. Not an ideal situation. <laughs> no, it is not so ideal. We'll need to hire a replacement. Zoo. Go into the zoo staff. section and then into the staff management Veterinarian. Area. Please find our chimp. Great. Now let's deal with our escapee before they can cause too much havoc. Use the Oopsie. animal alerts to jump to the escaped bonobo. Go. And then click on the call vet button to call Get the our vet monkey. <laughs> Everyone's running away. Oh my goodness. <sighs> okay, that's monkey, what are you doing? <laughs> so while the vet deals with our bonobo friend, well, you let's just ran right into it. She was holding a burger. Did any of you guys see that? She was running with her burger. It's a choking hazard. Okay, what are we supposed to do? Oh, go this way. As you can see, the barriers collapsed. Yes. Someone's taken their eye off the board. It has obviously. collapsed. Let's get this one replaced. Okay. Select the barrier and then we'll edit barrier. it. Barrier. Delete the broken set of the barrier and replace it with a brand spanking new one. Delete. Brand spanking new. Good. 
Now that we've done that, we need to make sure to add climb-proof barriers to the top. Okay. That way the bonobos won't be able to climb out. How do we Just do make sure that? You have the correct piece of barrier selected when you do that. Um, okay, edit. so go into the climb options proof. section and select which on side the climb proof barrier needs to go on. Right. And don't get it wrong. Yeah. We're more worried about bonobos climbing out than guests climbing we've in. We've done it. Because I think that we've... Nicely okay. done. <laughs> and I think it's high time we unbox those bonobos, wouldn't you say? Unbox them all. The might still get sad if we leave them in there for too long. Poor thing. Select the habitat barrier to bring up the habitat information panel again. Okay. I've already done that though. So, it turns out that as well as the old vet leaving, the zoo's mechanics did too. Wow, everyone's quitting. A couple of How new rude. Ones so we can help stop any more breakouts. You see, mechanics do all sorts no, of helpful things around the zoo, but one of their most important jobs is taking care of the habitat barriers. Oh, and we barriers. did the bronze project for bronze to repair them, the objectives. Crack, nice. rumble, and fall okay, down. so and before you know it, we'll be overrun with escaped animals. Go into the zoo section and then into the staff management area again. Can also, do this. Oh, gosh, we have been busy, haven't we? Good work there. Mm. I'm off for a cuppa. Oh, I think Bernie wants a word with you. Might as well. Have it out. Oh. I hear you had a bit of an issue with an escape bonobo. Yes, we had an escape bee. Thank you, Bernie. You dealt with it swiftly. And more importantly, without the animals stealing someone's clothes, putting them on, and then walking out of the front over gate. Here. That's not good. You see, another key responsibility for our vets is animal research. Oh, I thought research that was a hippo. Oh my god. <laughs> that's not a hippo, that's a rock. Additional information for our education what are we resources, doing? Build a research center. And improvements to food quality. <laughs> the animal's food, not the vet's. Okay. It'll take more than a research grant to improve the staff canteen. <laughs> anyway, Where as you are we can building see, this? research is a key part of running your zoo. In order for a vet to undertake research, for they require facilities. a research center. Research center? <laughs> and once again, Where that's is something you? that this zoo is missing. Keeper so let's build one. I've marked out an Where area for you to put it. Research center. Can I add this? Now, you've probably yep. noticed that there's already a building where I want you to build the research mm -hmm. center. Yep, I see. Don't worry. You see, the building that's currently there Oop. is actually a hollow shell. So we're able to place Oop. our new building inside of it. We've done it. If you select the research Can center I... for placement and then hover over the shell, you'll see that it asks if you want to add the research center to the existing building. Can I, like, copy that? Log wall for right. door. Splendid work. Now that we have a brand spanking new research center, we can give our vet something to do in there. Oh, by the way, it's worth noting that the vets will only do research when they're not required to do any other right. jobs. Oh, wait. That said, Actually. you can change what jobs a vet does via their information oh, panel. God. But let's not worry about that just now. So, let's get our vet research Why can I not? tail lemurs. Go mm. into the zoo section and select vet research. Nope. I guess I really shouldn't be worrying about this right now. Okay, what are we doing? Vet research. Vet Here, research. You can see a list of all the animals present mm -hmm, in your mm -hmm, zoo. I see. And also all the potential diseases. Lots of diseases. Now, Bordetella, Bordetellosis, classic swine fever. Nile crocodile pox virus. Botulism. Wow, so many diseases. Okay, what are we doing? Ring-tailed lemurs. Go. Actually, thinking about it, I'm not sure we've got any education boards or speakers by good. the lemurs' habitat. Let's head over there and answer. Also, I feel like so we should probably have another vet. Furry little delights. Vet. Whoop. I feel like two should be good. Try and get some more of this going. Um, let's see, what can we do? What can we do? Hmm. Sure. Sure. Okay. We're going over here. First off, let's pop down two education boards. Oh yeah. Place That's them on what the we're habitat doing. barriers at a height that guests can see or okay. if you like, Facility. Pop them down on a stand. Education board. Oh. Yep. Where's that other board? Over here. Nice. 
Okay, now that they've been put into position, we have to tell them what animal to display information about. Yes, we do. Select one of the education boards this is a to bring lemur? up its information panel. Right, right. Lemur, I think. And I hope. from the drop down yes. list, select ring tailed lemur. Although I'm sure that last part was obvious. Yes, extremely obvious. When you Thank link you. link an education board or a speaker to an animal, you need to make sure that said animal is close by. If it now we the need education speakers. So, let us hide these. Okay. Now that we've done the education board, oh, wait. let's pop <laughs> down a pair of speakers. Nope. Speakers play audio to the guests so they can learn while they look at the animals. Okay, but can I like... Instead of having to go through the laborious process of reading. To move that. Oh, I don't like that. One thing to bear in mind is that it's important not to put the speakers too close together. If you do, the guests <sighs> won't be able to understand Seriously? what's being said. Now we simply need to link the speakers to the ring-tailed lemurs. Just like you did with the education boards. Oh, wait, what? Oh, is that how you do that? Okay, but how do I, like... Oh my goodness. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Guys, help. I, like, just want this to be not in the way of anything. How? Or can I move it after? I guess we'll see if I can, like, adjust and to kind of tilt it backwards afterwards. Because that looks awful. So awful. Can I move? Oh, no. No. Speaker. Oh, yes. Advanced movement. Yes, that is exactly what I wanted. It's like it's not even there. But it is there. Perfect. Oh, and then I also have to... Lemurs. Lemur it. Lemurify the speaker. Okay, now I need to move. Yep, I need to move that one in. Wait, I'm not on the right thing. Ah! There we go. Is that good? Yes. Perfect. Fantastic. Oh, it's worth remembering that education boards so and where are speakers the both need power to work. They won't do much good Lemur. without it. No, that's a tree, oh, not the lemur. It looks as though lemur. our vet has completed their research lemur. on ring-tailed lemurs. We'll need to collect the oh, results. So cute. We can do that so by cute. clicking on the notification one. or by going back into the vet research area. Mm, notification. I think that was mechanic. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you very much. Go on. Collect your research rewards. Lots Just of research. Know, vets will continue to research an animal even after successfully completing a research level. Nice. <laughs> I suppose when you're in the zone, you're in the zone. Why do you have wolf welfare? Well, blah, blah, blah. well now that we've My enriched goodness. the lives of our guests, let's enrich the lives of our ring-tailed lemurs. Yes, we should do Some that. Some animals, like lemurs, will have a climbing need. That mm -hmm, means mm -hmm. they have a requirement for a certain amount they of climbing They want to climb me. And you can fulfill that requirement by building them a climbing frame. Let's find out how much more climbing space our lemur friends need, shall we? Select one of them and bring up their information panel. Okay, okay, let me click on you. Stop moving. Next, click on the terrain tab. Terrain. Ah, Climbable now, area. As you can see, the lemurs need quite a lot more climbing space. But as it happens, I've already got a climbing frame blueprint built for you. Wow, how about so that? So you can either pop that down or build Where one yourself it? from scratch. By the way, it's not always just it? climbing needs that you have to worry about. Oh, that's Other animals quite a large. Of water in their habitat so they can go for a swim. Oh my goodness. They certainly do keep us on our toes. How do I move this down? Uh, is it? No, not the shift. Yeah, shift. Oh my goodness. I do not want this to be floating. And I think that's like okay. Maybe like that. Yeah. Oh, that's a great climbing frame for them. They're going to nice. absolutely love it. Do you know what would make them even happier though? Nicer food. 
But that's true of all of us, though. Nicer it? food, yes, we all want you can nicer food. unlock better quality food for animals through research. Luckily, we've already unlocked some for the lemurs. So all that remains is to make sure they get served it from How do now we do on. It? Let's bring up the habitat information panel by selecting the lima habitat. Oh. Nope. Why do okay the store is like hidden? Oh my oh god. <laughs> oh no. It's like down here. Yeah, there we go. Lovely. Now select the animals tab. Grade two. So a new climbing frame and better food. Yummy. Oh, Nom really spoiled those lemurs rotten. <laughs> now, I These think it's babies? time we looked at one of the zoo's <gasps> most are important babies. responsibilities. Releasing animals oh, into the wild. Look at you, you're so small. You see, when Your we tail feel is an so animal long. is ready, we can release them into the wild. But what makes so an animal cute. a good candidate for release? Well, their age is an important factor. I Who mean, we are can't we release sending an animal away? Into juvenile, just as we can't release one that's Tell me. too old. They'll Tell also me. need to be fertile. After all, the idea is to repopulate yes, the wild. Make all so the, the best babies. candidates will have a high fertility gene. And together, Oop. the age and fertility of a candidate like it's floating. will determine it is floating. how many conservation credits we'll be rewarded when we release them. Now, Why can't conservation I... credits are vitally important. They're the lifeblood of your yes, zoo. Yes, yes, lifeblood, blood, them blood, allows you blood, to adopt blood. even more animals. And what are what's you? more, the animals you can adopt will be of a higher quality. Wow, look at that so, butt. With that oh, mind, he's, wait, he's holding a ball. Wait, habitat. wait, wait, I want to look at you. He has a ball. That looks so natural. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, he dropped the ball. Okay. We're leaving now. Oh, and he pooped. Okay, we're leaving. What am I what am I doing? Okay. I'd like you to find Agang. Agang. Or the orangutan in the habitat that is not and select you. him, please. You can either click through each orangutan in turn. Or select the habitat barrier, go to the animals tab in the habitat information panel, and find him in the animals list. Uh, ag agung. You. Agung. Be free! I know it's sad to see him go, but he'll be happy out in the wild. And he's a we did wonderful our candidate for objectives release. As well. Young, strong, and fertile. Excellent work there. You've definitely got potential, you uh, know. Oh, yes. Much potential. Look at me go. Look at how weird these oh, things are. Why do you walk like that? Although, it already seems Dude, like your arms are going in your body. As adorable as a ring oh, my goodness. I imagine I'd have got much better grades at school if there'd been less algebra and more algebra. But, um, tss, that was terrible. Okay. So far, we've done a lot of work with habitat animals, but now it's time to learn all about Exhibits. exhibit animals. I see this highlighted. Let's build a brand new exhibit. Let's. I've marked an area for our new exhibit. How about we head over there? Okay. Lovely. Now let's build a new exhibit in the gap that's been left. Eh. Just add it to the building like we eh. did with the research center earlier, then pop it into the gap. Okay. Yes. Perfect. The next thing to do is adopt an exhibit animal to go in there. How about a healer monster? Open up the exhibit trading section and adopt one. There's only one. Just as we do with habitat animals, we need to send the healer monster to the exhibit. Go. Click on the exhibit to send it there. I did. Enrichment. Hiding place. When you send hiding an place. To an exhibit, it'll automatically Another hiding place. But that doesn't mean it's completely ready for them. Climb so it. Let's finish oh no. It off. This we'll needs start to be by adding a lot some enrichment warmer. items. Click on the exhibit to bring up its information How much panel. Warmer? As I'm sure you know by now, you can unlock more enrichment Ooh, levels by having warmer. one of your vets do some research. Are you like now 41? we also need to set the temperature 42? and humidity in the exhibit. Forty two is good. Are vitally important uh, for keeping our healer This needs to be way, 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 Click way less humid. Tab. Here you can see the healer monster's desired temperature and humidity. You can change both of these Even by adjusting the dials below. Oh wow! Make yep. sure it's going to be nice and cozy. Nineteen. You go eighteen. 
Nice. The ticket? And the last thing we need to look at is setting up the different oh. windows. So click oh. on the windows tab. Oh. Yep, that's what I wanted. There's also an exhibit education board. Pop them down near your exhibits to teach your guests about them. Let's, Let's learn now. about the Gila monster. Let's see. This is the wrong way. Oh, oh god. So glitchy. Okay. And Gila monster. Lovely stuff. Now our guests can learn all about our venomous friend here. Very venomous. Right, now, I've got a bit of a big job for you. Uh-oh. I need you to increase the number of species in the zoo. You'll probably want to adopt both habitat mm. and exhibit animals to do so, which will mean building plenty of new habitats and exhibits for them. Hmm. Come on, off you pop. I'll check in with you when you're almost done. Well... It looks like... Can I find an animal that I actually like to end with? What do we have in here? Hippo. Hippo? Okay, yes, that is a hippo, not a rock. Yep. We're ending with the hippo. So, you guys... Oh, it's little noises! You big water pig. Look at those chonky ankles. Wow. Beautiful. Oh, wow, that's really cute. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is all the time we have for today's video. I hope you're enjoying Planet Zoo. I'm definitely going to be playing through all of the career campaigns as they get released. Um, so you will hopefully see another one of these videos next week. Maybe even along with Jurassic World. Who knows, honestly. Um... <laughs> This is so cute. But thank you guys for joining me today, and I will see you all next time. Bye!